to First and Jarwin's Dot 2 60 of Week. Welcome to First and Jarwin's 5 Minute Reviews. Resolution. Resolution is probably one of my favourite specials. It makes the dark sound more unique than a normal. And I like the fact that Chris Chibble wrote something different and he also made them even more scary, even outside the body and possessing human beings. Going back to those um, nanobots back in series seven, Geordie Whitaker, as usual, just slays it and really delivers in her first Dalek stuff. Whenever she takes on the Daleks, she is at her best. I felt like there was a lot more at stake for her this time. She brought herself into like that she wasn't gonna settle with one series. She was in it for the long haul. And I think there's just something about that performance, especially when she said, Oh May, I'm the daughter. Ring any bells. Comedy, but also cocky and brilliant. Chris played a lot of words of that and Joey's performance. Great. I want to talk a bit about Tolson Carl's performance in this episode. He is reunited with his dad, Aaron Sinclair, and he's played by Daniel Adjaka Boyega. And I love the fact that Ryan is able to confront him on why he left. They have built up to this. And I just feel that the performance from Daniel and Tolson really bring it a lot. Especially to the conclusion when he saves his dad from suffering a worse fate after being possessed by the Dalek. It's just amazing. And especially with Bradley Walsh as well helping out as Graham, you know, it meant a lot. I know Amanda Gill isn't used as much in this episode, but from what she's used, she's used well. I mean, even if she isn't used well, Amanda just comes out and shines at best. Yes, I would have loved more of her at this point, but luckily they're able to fix that. Um, I loved uh, Charlotte Ritchie as Lynn. Um, she was a definitely um, a great character to watch. She had to deal with a lot in the episode um she had just had to do with all this like friend Mitch and of course then being possessed by the recon dog. and I felt Charlotte brought a lot to her performance it was believable and you know the fact that Lynn survives being possessed it's just a phenomenal feeling and I like that I mean yes I know that was unfortunate fails to do that because we need to see the negative side but this is just amazing and it's just good to see him have a happy ending because sometimes with Sasha you can easily see a couple end up having an unhappy end but I'm glad that she did. I like Nick as Patel as um, Mitch, very concerned, it just felt real and yeah I just love that episode and Mitch is also so brilliant. Nicholas Briggs did a great job once again this is his specialty voicing the darts and he brought a lot to uh the recon dart. i felt the recon dart was when i have um him as a figure and everything about him made me love it and yeah i just really feel scared by it second i can all the uh of course and when it brought it with the music and the directory um yes uh, everything like Yes, there's a, a, a controversial moment which I'll say, I'll just say, Chip on, my man. If you're doing an LGBT plus representation, don't do it like that, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's just a little nitpick because I do believe in good LGBT plus representation. And it, it has to be said because thankfully he improves. But yeah, that's the only complaint because even though it's not a big complaint, it's still, I think, noticeable. Definitely one of the strongest New Year specials I've seen. Um, Geordie once again at her best. And I just love looking at that as the first New Year special on its own. Giving me some emotional but good performances and just a brilliant story. Thank 
thank you for listening to the five minute review. Please like and subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest regular episodes and reviews. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Subscribe to Fasman Jarrett and stay tuned for more podcasts. See ya!